proof, talk about how other folks are doing it and how they're going to be out there all by themselves if you're, if you're not doing it. And um, and then also you want to get and start looking for those objections as they pop up. Now, the thing about objections, I know, like I said, people have in the sales field, sometimes they do this stuff by the book. They got this hierarchy of things. But I, I take a different approach to objections. I say, why wait for them? <laughs> well, we know what the objections are going to be. You know, I, I mean, you've been doing, if you've been selling this product for 100 years, 20 years, 10 years, you know exactly what the objections are. Why wait? And another reason you don't want to wait because many of the objections are what we call hidden objections. They're not going to tell you. They're not going to say, look, hey, that costs too much. They're going to say, hey, let me go home and talk to my wife. Oh, well, uh, let me think about it. They ain't going to give you everything except the real except the real objection. So instead of waiting, I like to take the proactive approach. Let's get the objections out of the way from the get-go. I was start talking about price. Well, look now. And we just had a uh, we just, matter of fact, we just had a price uh, increase last week, but I think we're not going to I think I can get you in at this original price. Two things happened. We we addressed an objection and we did a trial close. Right there in this one sentence. These are strategic things, ladies and gentlemen, that it doesn't look like you're selling somebody. So let's get these objections out of the way. Like I say, once again, let's get those testimonies in the front of them, too. Somehow you got to get that person to see that you have been doing this for a minute. Social proof should be included in practically every aspect of sales and advertising. And that simply means that others are doing it and you that person should be doing it too and with you <laughs> you go to my website it's just one big page of testimonials and because i understand the power of social proof so you want to inject that into your sales process every chance you get you could be on the phone matter of fact that person on the phone and your phone could ring your cell phone could ring it's, oh yeah that was that client working on their website i just want to just make sure i got there they want to they want to start next week i just want to make sure that uh so hold on a second you just dropped in some social proof. That's strategy, ladies and gentlemen. And it's honest. And it's not giving you that salesy, hungry look. <laughs> but it's very effective. Very effective. Now, what you want to do also, you want to do what we call risk aversion. Make it less risky to do business with you. I mean, sometimes you deal with folks never heard you. They wouldn't know you from Jack. <laughs> hey, what this gateway guy? Talk about you going to build my brand and get me some customers and my, write my marketing strategy. Well, I'm going to try to do everything I can to make it sound a little less risky to do business with me. So on my website, I'm going to put things like my cage code. That means Uncle Sam at least uncheck me out. <laughs> you can't get a cage code if you're, you got to have some, you got to have at least a Don's number and a, a business license or something. So you, you do things that reduce the risk of doing business with you if you've been if you're a member of the better business administration put that banner out there anything that you can do to help people feel comfortable and feel like it's less risky doing business with you than the next person these are all sales techniques folks that are very very effective and it's very strategic now the last not the last thing because this process never ends to be honest with you but one of the things that we talked about is, is the clothes that's asking for the sale. You have not sold until you get the sale. And you have to ask for it. Now, unfortunately, many people who, who don't understand sale, they actually ask. <laughs> they get the door slammed in their face. You don't really just go up there and ask, hey, can I have this sale? No, that's not how you do it. I'm gonna tell you my favorite one, and it's so effective. I'm gonna let you into one of my secret sauces of Gatewood success. We call it the forced close. Give them two choices. Either one of them is acceptable to you. 